Hey everybody out there, Chris here, and welcome back to another comic review. This time we're talking about Justice League, issue number 29. And in this issue, the Metal Men have been brought back to life, and they are teaming up with Cyborg to take down Grid. The final fight between Cyborg and Grid happens in this book. And I gotta say, this was a really, really... I know a lot of people didn't like it. This was one of my top books this week. Um... I enjoyed it. It does have flashbacks to what happened during Trinity War with the three um, Just League teams. But basically, Cyborg hacks into the system, basically calling Grid out. Grid shows up. The Metal Men attack. Cyborg fight Grid. It's a whole big fight. Then Grid uh, basically had a backup plan where he called the Fury, the um, Fearsome Five, where was it? I want to make sure I'm right with the Fear. Yeah, Fearsome Five. So it's the Metal Men versus the Fearsome Five and Cyborg versus Grid in Cyborg's mind. Because Grid links himself to Cyborg. You take this little um, um, link and connects it to Cyborg, and now they're inside Cyborg's body. And what does Grid want? Grid wants Cyborg's. He wants to destroy Cyborg, he wants to take him over completely and take over. He wants to feel, he wants to be human. So he basically wants to take everything from Victor and become, you know, everything and just wipe him clean. So, lots of dialogue from Grid. Even Cyborg himself says, are you done talking now because I'm sick of listening to you. And basically in the end, we've been seeing one Justice League member get picked off by another. In this issue, spoiler alert here... Cyborg traps Grid in his own body, in Grid's body, not in Cyborg's body, in Grid's body, and Grid is forever trapped inside the shell of his former robotic body, and that's it. And Grid finally feels something, fear from being left alone in the dark. Awesome issue. Also, one of the Metal Men has a little bit of trouble, but in the end everything works out, but I feel like they did that on purpose to give Grid kind of a way if they ever want to reintroduce him as a as a uh, antagonist for Cyborg, that's how they'll do it. They'll say, well, when he interacted with this metal man, he injected some type of a virus, which basically allowed Grid to take over that metal man's body or his mechanics, which then turned Grid's shell body back. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out there. But all in all, I would say this is a three and a half to four star book. I enjoyed it. I liked it. Also, in the end, Steve Trevor and Killer Frost show up. This connects to the last issue of Forever Evil... Um, oh, God. Argus and Forever Evil, um, the connection with Justice League of America. So it's all connecting, finally, in something. However, I don't think Steve Trevor is going to be the one to save the Justice League of America anymore. If anybody's going to save them now, it's Cyborg. Awesome book. And with that, that's it for this review, guys. Don't forget to check out Comic Related and ComicFrontline.com. Together, we are your number one source for comic related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. If you enjoyed what you saw here, what you read here, or if you enjoyed this book that I'm holding here, since I completely tongue tied every single piece of the, that last sentence, if you enjoyed this book, let us know in the comments below. Likes, dislike, agree or disagree with what I'm saying, let me know. That's what the comment box is for. And until next time, everybody. Keep reading, keep collecting, and I will see you guys in the next review. Take care, everybody.